Hey guys, today we are looking at another interesting piece of ordnance. This is a Japanese World War II Type 15 tail bomb fuse that was used by the Japanese Navy on their standard uh, 500 and 1,000 pound bombs. So it would be for the fairly heavy bombs that they'd be dropping and was a standard piece of equipment that was used in all theaters by uh, Japanese naval planes that were doing any bombing. And this would also have uh, included like the attack on Pearl Harbor. Uh, this would have been the standard bomb fuse that would have been on the larger bombs that were dropped on US battleships and uh, <clears throat> other targets on Hawaii during that time. So this particular example has never actually been used or issued. It still has the original uh, safety pins in it. As you can see right here, you've got a big pin that would be taken out before it's actually put on a bomb. And down here, I've also got the original instruction or warning label in Japanese, obviously, and, and that's been on there since World War II, so just kind of interesting. I do wish that I could read Japanese and translate this because it would be interesting. Unfortunately, I do not. But uh, obviously, before use, you would also take out this pin right here, which actually goes through to this side. So I'm not going to take that out because it has not been out of this since it was made, uh, you know, 80 years ago. And then you'd again take this one off too. So the way this works is it's screwed on without damaging the label here. It's screwed on to your bomb here. Here's your threads. And then um, pull your pins out. And as it's dropping, these veins catch the wind and they actually turn and they will unscrew. And once it unscrews itself, that's sort of your last safety. And these large fins here will actually deploy forward. As you can see, they've got play and they're, they're locked in by those uh, pins so they can't move. And there is a gigantic firing pin in here. And that would be allowed to go forward very quickly and obviously initiate your detonation process in the bomb. So just a very interesting piece of equipment. You don't find these very often, certainly not unused like this one. The only markings I could find were a serial number on it. I'm assuming that's a serial number and it looks like potentially a maker's mark as well. Um, no other markings per se. Uh, you've got some kanji here, which again, I cannot translate. I'm very sorry if, if you are a Japanese speaker and could translate it, I would love to know. So comment and help us out. But again, just a pretty cool piece that was used and encountered by a lot of U.S. soldiers during the war, soldiers and sailors, and uh, something that you don't see too often. Hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this, and we'll be looking at more. If there's something you would like to see us take a look at, let me know in the comments, and we'll see what we can do. Thanks a lot.